Um, oh, uh, on on today's episode of the Zoomers or the TikTok generation now has full blown schizophrenia. Uh, this is the phrenology edition. That's right. We've gotten to we've gotten to the phrenology component. I need to see the actual real TikTok to watch this full thing because it seems incredible. The difference between an angel versus witch skull. Angel skulls versus witch skulls. Looks maxing women. Some real life examples of angel skulls. I love this. I love this. We have officially we've officially arrived once again with like uh, uh we've arrived at phrenology but also for the girly pops you know what i mean not racially motivated at all I, ironically it's actually not racist uh in the same way that like phrenology originally was as you can see the examples that they're using are from every race so it's weirdly enough uh while it's completely made up and and insane it ironically is doing phrenology, but also not racist. <laughs> they included every race. All three, all three of the races. So that's chill. Good, good on them. Speaking of schizophrenia, you guys remember this lady who uh, had to get off of a plane and, uh, you know, and then the New York Post doxed her, but maybe they didn't dox her. I guess maybe she revealed her own uh, information on her own or something. Who called it race science and phrenology instead of skull based matchmaking? <laughs> SP, SPMM. Um, here's a video of her. Hi everyone. It's me, Tiffany Gomez, probably better known as the crazy plane lady, which is completely warranted. As you know, I I like that she's owning it. She's like, yeah, I'm, I'm crazy. I was out of my fucking mind on that, on that plane, you know, for real. Straight up. Nutty with it. Going nutty mode. I have been unwilling to speak on the viral video, but I do finally feel that it's time. First and foremost, I want to take full accountability for my actions. They were completely unacceptable. Distressed or not, I should have been, I should have been in control of my emotions and that was not the case. My use of profanity was completely unnecessary. <laughs> and I wanna to apologize to everyone on that plane, especially those that had children aboard. Can't imagine going through that and trying to explain to your kid what in the world just happened. Am I crazy? Does she even need to apologize? Like, what happened? Like, normally, people would just go nutty with it in public. And, uh, you know, if there isn't anybody, like, immediately uploading it to a social media platform that goes viral, back in the day... You just had an episode, right? It's not like she was being racist. She was just like having, like it looked like she was just hallucinating. They don't talk about how the plane she was on ended up crashing a fighter pilot, saw a man crawl out of the plane and fly away with big wings. Yeah, that's what, that's what really happened. They don't want you to know. Angels are real. Angels are real, chat. That's right. And witches too. And this is a woman who has an angel skull. And she clearly saw a woman who had a witch's skull and got scared. We all have our bad moments. Um, some far... I just... What is happening? Farming Cloud with an apology? Is she? Is she like... But like, does she need to be known? Does she need to be a known person? Is this what's happening now? We're just like, anyone that has an episode? Anyone that has a fucking episode on a plane or whatever, we gotta... We gotta, like, know their home address and their job and, and maybe even, like... 
are worse than others. And mine happened to be caught on camera for the whole world to see multiple times. Sorry, I'm trying not to sound like Minnie Mouse. Um, well, it has been really comical for everyone um, and I have highly enjoyed so many of the memes. On the flip side, it is very invasive and unkind. Uh, because people like fully thought she was onto something. She's been blamed for promoting. Yeah, people are. Yeah, people are really fucking crazy. I mean, the ir the irony is like she was being insane in that moment, but also all the people that were like, "Wait, hold up, let her cook." She probably did see like a an alien or something. Like, I don't know what to do about that. What do you do about people like that? It's like when when mental illness is atomized. You know, you can contain it. You can work on it. You can navigate through life. Many people do. But when mental illness engages in, uh, it, it penetrates collective consciousness, and other people also uh, hype it up, I feel like this is just, you know, it's not a they good situation. Wait, I what? I really cannot believe it. I don't give two fucks, but I am telling you right now, that motherfucker, that motherfucker back there is not real. Very difficult delusions are still like debated on how to treat them. So many people who want to, who wanted her to give into her delusions, she might have to. She stayed around longer than the normal news cycle for this stuff for two reasons. One, she's hot. Two, an engagement. Hounds like Ian Miles Chungus kept bringing her up or posting it again two weeks later to say, I wonder how she's doing. Yeah. We're so, we like to think that we're so fucking, we're, we're so above it. And we're just so incredibly easily uh, manipulated. And I don't know what I would do without the love and support of my friends and family. They are loyal to a fault and I don't know what I did to deserve them. Um, sorry, y'all. I hope that I can use this experience and do a little bit of good in the world. And that is what I intend to do. I hope that you guys can accept my apology and I can. I mean, even I have content skull, as you guys already know, because immediately I see this and I want to quote tweet it and go, she didn't even tell us what she actually saw. Banger tweet. Okay. hundred K likes. You know what I mean? Immediately, uh, like I see this and automatically I want to just like, automatically I want to be like, this is fucking, uh, this is an opportunity for me to get a funny off. You know what I mean? Like a lot of the jokes I make on stream, I will sometimes see different variations of it on the timeline. And I'm like, oh fuck, I could have just said that. You know what I mean? Or, or jokes I've made in the past. Uh, I, 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 and I'm not saying like people are stealing uh, my jokes or anything like that. Obviously, like, you know, a lot of people have the same fucking attitude towards a lot of people have the exact same, um, you know, opinions and, and, and a similar way to make the same exact jokes because they're not all that brilliant. I just don't know what the hell she's apologizing for. Really? I think about this tweet a lot recently. I feel like a dangerously large portion of the world economy is based on jacking off. I mean, it's true. 100% true. Um, it's just odd. Funny comment from a green is not Nick collab video about your career veteran hat. I love y'all both platonically lol, but my man, I'm hoping you're wearing your dad's hat. Cause holy shit. That's some stolen valor to these people that thrown their lives away. For our corrupt government, just take the hat off, man. I always loved your style, but I only wear what my pops has been in out of honor of him. Other than that, great video, a lot of good points. Have a great day, but please stop wearing the hat, even though I can, any, even though anyone could tell you've never even thought of throwing your life away for this heartless government, unless you're a veteran. In brackets, I love that. This is a well-intentioned guy who's just like legitimately upset about uh, stolen valor. I'm not gonna dunk on him, you know. It's cute. 
She's been blamed for promoting anorexia and heroin use. And her nicknames include Cocaine Kate and Kate Meth. Nice. She's been blamed for... POV, I'm now the most viral looks maxing account on the internet and I and most hated by aunties, normies, and male black pillars. Yeah, wear it like a badge of honor, queen. You're the best. I love, like, sometimes I'll dive into, like, insane communities online, like the eating disorder uh, uh, communities, like the fucking, the ones that, like, are keeping each other accountable by just, like, straight up breaking each other's brains and, and trying to, you know, bully one another great certainly this is not uh certainly this is not uh, damaging flop era yo chill this is a queer ass community man this is you can't be bringing stuff like this up in here this is a hate crime carly ray jepson's the loveliest time sold 5.5k units in the u.s as his first week of release My skull shit is just different ways. It, insane 15 year old girls project their insecurities to others to feel insecure as well, aka give them views. Insecurity grifting to pick a new thing no one thinks about every week, like uglier hot back profile. Yeah. I mean, creating a way to basically streamline uh, the, the uh, mainstreaming of these insecurities is great. Me trying to tell a male that the best chefs in the world are men, therefore, men belong in the kitchen, not us. Oh, this was the original one. Upturn nose with 120 nasolabial angle. Downturn nose with... Convex philtrum. Projecting and taut... Where does one even find these infographics? Like an... Or, like a... Like an ortho surgeon or something? Like a pla plastic surgeon's office? Like, where did you find this shit? <laughs> it's not 1937. This isn't just, like, straight-up phrenology. There obviously is a... Uh, there obviously is, like, a medical use for some of this shit. It's probably a doctor showing procedures that they can, to, can do for you or something. God, it's great, dude. Every every part of this is awesome. Every frame of this video is chaos. Yeah, no, I, I fucking saw this video. This has been going viral on online as well. Uh, this is yet another one of those like really awful. I hate this whatever podcast because it's just like it's not good. Okay, it's never been good. It's not good. They have the absolute fucking worst guests on. They are the absolute worst as well in the podcast. And it's just, all they do is rage bait like this, and the guests are in on it too. I feel like they know. They know what they're doing. Like, every single one of the guests that goes on this podcast knows what they're doing. They have an Instagram. They have OnlyFans. They want to promote their OnlyFans to the fucking incels. And it's like, they want incels to basically go to their OnlyFans and furiously masturbate to their, their OnlyFans posts. Like, that's what it is. There's just no shot, okay? That's it. It's just like I am going to I am going to say the dumbest shit hum like humanly possible on this dumbass podcast to get every single angry incel to subscribe to my OnlyFans and angrily masturbate to me. That's my that's my goal. And then it pops off on Twitter and the only thing that that does is basically elevate the dumbass podcast and the dumbass in the podcast. This type of makeup got Reddit vibes, to be fair. Here, let's watch. Let's watch Ray, what she's saying. I am the Ahego queen. What is the... How's it pronounced? A? Ahego. Huh? There's a girl that came out at that... After going on Fresh and Fish, he gained like 10K subs on OnlyFans the next day. That's what I mean. Oh, God. It's like, it's. It's so. 
it's just so uh, I don't I don't know where to start. I don't know where to begin. I don't know. I'm a normal human being who watches pornographic content regularly. Okay? And when I see stuff like this, I'm just like, eh, it's just not for me. It feels really weird. And I move on. But, having said Bella Morphine, <laughs> it's also a higo, not a higo. Okay, it's a higo. Sorry. I feel like, you know what? I'm a real lunch pail masturbator, okay? What do I mean by that? I'm a meat and potatoes masturbator, okay? I got the fundamentals down. This kind of shit is just trends, okay? This kind of shit is just trends. They come and go. It's like, I got my meat and I got my potatoes. That's all I care about, okay? I don't give a shit about, like, all this other stuff where, like, oh, this is a, this is a meta now, you know? Like, some of you love jerking off the trends, okay? Because you haven't investigated deep within yourself what your preferences are, so you're just jumping from one new thing to the next, okay? It's, it's basically being an adult. What I'm describing to you is being a fucking adult, okay? It's just, do I every now and then engage... In the, oh my God, I'm stuck type shit. Maybe, okay? I'll, I'll go into uncharted territory. I've even tried jerking off the hentai. I say tried because it didn't, didn't really work out for me, okay? But the reality is, at the end of the day, I know what gets me going, okay? And this is like, this is trend beating from like, Eight trends ago, I feel like. This is still trying to make the whole Ahigawa shit happen. Look at me. I got the kitty ears on. Look at me. I'm doing the fucking weird eyes and the tongue. It's just, I don't know. You're fake. You're phony. You're just jerking off to the, to the next shiny thing. You know what I mean? Low MMR meat beater shaking my head. It's really rough out there for Zoomer teens. They feel like they have to sell their news. They see stuff like this all the time. I don't think anybody feels like they need to sell their nudes, and I don't think it's that bad to do that, obviously. I don't think I have no issue with doing that at all. Overall, there is one aspect of this that I find really strange. It's just like, I don't think sex workers should be shitted on, obviously, uh, and I think it's, it's strange uh, that uh, people are so desperate to do that. But also, there is the other side of this where it's just like, I don't know. You're not a girl who is 20, though, also. What? It's hot when they do it right before the money shot. It's lame when they chase cloud on these douches podcasts. Skill-based meat milking. <laughs> If you're not wearing a Bernie mask, keep off my porn. I just, I don't know. I, there's something, there is something that weirds me out about it. Like this, uh, this kind of like, I am going to milk as many fucking incels as possible by just like behaving in a weird way. Like back in the day. Any kind of uh, exposition that showcased that the porn stars that were rather inaccessible were real human beings was welcomed, right? And that was great. Now the script has flipped where people who are normal human beings are basically trying to operate like their porn character to sell more of their porn in spaces where they would otherwise be normal human beings. The expectation for me, if you go on a fucking podcast, if you're a sex worker, is not for you to be like, ooh, ooh, look at me. I love doing Ahegao face. It's my favorite. It's like, just be normal. Just be fucking chill. Be normal. Like, what the fuck are you doing? It's very odd. It's very odd to me. And you guys know this. Like, I've had plenty of 
sex workers on this broadcast. And I rarely will try to farm them for like, uh, you know, sexy time. I don't do that because I feel like it's not, it's odd to me. You know what I mean? You're like a person. You're not like a brand when you're here. You know what I mean? Why are you doing that? The podcast isn't a good place to be normal. Their viewers are her target audience. I know. And I just don't like it. I don't like it. I feel like it's a, it's a merger of like hustle culture. Your meaning of meat and potatoes is really just drawing boobs on a piece of paper and having a wank at that. Okay, those are my saddest moments from my childhood. Okay, why are you going to fucking resurface that every goddamn time? Sex workers need more respectable representation. Thank you for providing that in your content. Because, well, the reality is no one is like this. She's not like this. You know what I mean? You think she doesn't like to fucking watch like Bridgerton and eat a tub of ice cream and just be normal and not fucking put makeup on? You know what I mean? That's every person. Every human being at the end of the day is a normal human being in their own ways, okay? She's doing a bit. But like, this is supposed to be, this is supposed to be a normal version of you, like a human being. But you have, you have basically marketed yourself as a character in every aspect of your life that like, you're basically, um, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to engage in self-promo. Uh. Come face, basically. Lord have mercy. Mm. You will. Uh, okay. okay. Da, da, da. That that's the other. <laughs> that's the other one. Okay. I'm dominant. You're dominant. Yes. What? I'm daddy. You're daddy. Uh huh. Whoa. Oh, bro, it's literally like the TikTok NPC meme. She's doing a merger of the TikTok NPC meme movements. While simultaneously being like, I'm daddy, I'm Dami, look look at my fucking lip tattoo, what the fuck, what? It's so fucking cringe, dude. Even friend of the show, Jenna, who enjoys some raunchy jokes, not like doing it for self-promotion, being her, yeah. Like, when, when Chris Pratt goes on a press junket, okay, he's not Mr. Guardian of the Galaxy. Okay, he's just Chris Pratt. If you are trying to market your uh if you're trying to market your 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 wares, okay? Like you don't have to you don't have to be Mr. Star-Lord all the time. You know what I mean? You can just like be normal. Sex workers aren't a monolith. I know they're not, which is why I gave you examples of of my friends who do sex work who I don't uh you know like, I would not be friends with if they were doing this kind of stuff. Like, constantly trying to fucking farm and being, like, really weird. Oh, wait. Show the tattoo to the, the camera right here. It just says daddy. Yeah. Did that hurt? Daddy. I'm daddy. I fuck girls with strap-ons. This is what makes me more dominant. I would fuck a guy, but they're too scary. Do you date men or women? Oh, I'm so, so, so attracted to men. I found you a nice house in Cote d'Azur for 15 mil, including infinity pool. Call me when free. <laughs> Bro, we got parasocial international realtors in here, dude. Who are having an episode in the chat. I Yeah, man, thanks, dude. I'll give you a call as soon as possible. Men, like I need dick like when I'm drunk like women when I get drunk it's like titties I'll do whatever the fuck I want it's really hard for me to take advice from people that I don't respect and I don't respect a lot of people have you been diagnosed with no and like I BPD really don't or... think I should go to the doctor to be like yeah you're probably told fine I'm... when you say you're dominant do you mean uh what are we talking here I feel like my masculine energy is higher than most men like the funniest part about it is like the incel guy is also so horny. What is the point of the sensor? I don't even fucking know anymore. I, I don't know. I don't know what the point of anything is, really. When you say you're dominant, do you mean... Uh, what are we talking here? I feel like my masculine energy is higher than most men's masculine energy. Like, even in bed, I would literally f*** um, you until you were doubting your sexuality. I also tried someone who did what I did, and it, I turned them basically gay, so... 
him until he became gay or something. I swear to God. We motherfucker. Well, listen, I'm not trying to hurt anybody. Okay. I just fuck you and fuck you. I'm sorry. Lay you and lay you <laughs> until, you know, <laughs> like you're like, oh my God, I have no more cum inside my body anymore. It's the fuck is wrong with this lady? Like, you'll never want to cheat on me. It's I love cheating. It's actually my biggest fantasy. It's like, this has the genuine inverse effect on me where like, if I was bricked up before clicking on this fucking uh, podcast, okay, and I heard someone talking like this, it's just like I'm a nun. All of a sudden, I have all of the sexual desires, any kind of pent-up sexual frustration just ripped away from my soul, okay? It's done. I can't. I think the major reason for this is that it's inauthentic. It's so... It's so uh, hammed up. You know what I mean? The Yanmi Park of sex. First of all, Yanmi Park is the Yanmi Park of selling sex appeal. Let's be fucking real, okay? I'm, I'm fucking ace aromantic after this, okay? It's just like, it's so try hard. I don't know what it is, but there's something so inauthentic about being such a out and about try hard in every respect that as soon as I see that, I just, I can't look away. I can't, I can't see that as anything but a person trying extra hard. What do I mean by this? What I mean by this is it's no different than like Andrew Tate or some other uh, content creator who's like deeply and undesirably insecure, but putting on a show uh, by, by creating this like incredibly masculine persona for themselves um, specifically so that people who are just as insecure as they are will look at that and go, oh my God, this guy is such an alpha. I love that. I want to be just like him. I want to be an alpha dog just like he is. And someone in the chat actually brought up Dr. Disrespect as an example. I don't think so. I think Dr. Disrespect is a funny character who is self-aware uh in many respects when he's like putting on a, a show I, dr disrespect is absolutely self-aware i will not criticize his showmanship uh i might not agree with a lot of the things that he says right i might not agree with his own personal uh beliefs or anything like that but dr disrespect is a a character in many ways and he is a showman he's a showman um same with tyler one tyler one is an entertainer Okay, there is an element of like uh, competitiveness within him that makes some of his rants real, but ultimately he is a character. He's a showman. And you can see, like you can see that if you ever meet him in uh, the real world, you, you get that. You understand that immediately. He's like a very kind person. Um, I don't know. So why is she not the same? Because she's trying too hard? Exactly. Exactly. Alex Jones is in a different category. Alex Jones is a showman, but he's also like that. Steven Crowder, exactly. Great example of a person who is doing this, like putting on a front in a deeply and undesirably insecure way. And when I see stuff like that, I think to myself, like, what are you hiding? Like, why are you behaving like this? This is not, you don't have to do that. Yeah, Steven Crowder would be a good example of this. Andrew Tate would be a good example of this. Not even trying that hard, though, let her live. I mean, it's just, it. ultimately, it's not, like, harmful, in my opinion. I'm not one of those people who's like, oh, this is perverted, like, fuck this. I just think it's cringe. Want to cheat on me? I love cheating. It's actually my biggest fantasy. What the hell with all this? It's not that fucking difficult. You're with someone or they're with someone. I don't even have to be with someone. But if you're with someone and you have a girl, I'm gonna sit on your fucking dick and be like, "Isn't my pussy tighter? Isn't it better? Isn't that just hot?" Yeah. I'm a competition yeah. in myself. Like I just have to. Nala Ray, 23, explained that although she now makes around 150,000 quid a month, she's still on the lookout for a good bargain and likes using coupons. Nice. Thank you, superb maneuvers. I don't know who Nala Ray is, but thank you for that. A good bargain is at the top of the hour when there's a three-minute ad break, for example, and you can get a bit of a coupon for it. 
like a Twitch Prime, which is free. By connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, you'll get one free Prime subscription a month. You can use it on your favorite broadcaster. Hopefully that's me. Thank you for the layup there, superb maneuvers. Oh, that girl is Nala, right? Okay, got it. Oh, she's also 23. I think, like, uh, that's probably part of it as well. Okay, I did not know who that was. I didn't know who Nala Ray was. But Nala Ray is kind of people who pretend to be assholes. Very probably assholes in reality. Disgusting whore. No, it's not hot. Bro, fucking chill out, dude. Like, there's a way to talk about these sorts of things. And when you when you do that, you're you're just being gross. Like, calm down. And for the record, her objectifying herself to that degree does not mean that you can, like, become this fucking misogynistic warlord in that moment. It does not give you permission. He's trying to make the girl feel bad about I'm herself. So. You. You're not a 10. All right. Come I'm on. not saying that to be mean, but you're not a 10. Okay. It's only f sick man thanks like what the fuck what, what is this what, what is happening here like uh, again it's always listen listen it's always the same bullshit oh by the way you can also get gifted a sub if you're lucky to avoid the top of the hour here's the three minute break now um it's always like it's vice signaling it's vice signaling that's what he's doing He's just like being ruthlessly mean and a bully. And you're, when you do stuff like that, when you do stuff like that, when you're doing that, I see that immediately as insecurity. It's like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. First of all, he's not a 10 either. You know what I mean? He's not. But like, why would you bring that up to him? You know what I mean? Like, what is, what is the purpose of that? Especially if he was just a random guy. You know what I mean? A random guy that you're having on as a guest on your podcast. Before he starts opening his mouth and, and saying, like, uh, psychotic, uh, psychotic shit, okay? Like, why would you do that? Why would you, like, immediately jump the gun and just, like, start trying to make him... Uh, tr start trying to make him try to feel bad. Only fair, right? You you rated me. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna rate you, but uh, I'll just say that you're not a ten. Okay. That doesn't hurt me. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not trying to. What is this? They. They. Oh, I forgot. They also ask all the girls to rate them too, right? It's so fucking insecure. Jesus Christ. These are the guys who who go in and and do the dick rating uh, OnlyFans content. One hundred percent. Um, Mesu's YB, thank you for the five. Get the subs. I'm not gonna lie. Every time I watch shit like this, I feel like they're having a mommy issues, daddy issues off. You know what I mean? It's like a mid off where one side has like serious mommy issues, the other side has serious daddy issues, maybe also mommy issues and daddy issues, both of them. And they're just like fucking like vomiting out their insecurities. Not saying that this girl is uh, at doing that right now. I don't know what the fuck she's done before this or after this, but every time I see a clip, it's like that. I'm just like, oh god, it's so weird. I hurt you? Are you down to revise your answer? If we got makeup remover? No, my makeup's expensive. Why would I want to take it off? Uh, no. Is there a difference? <laughs> expensive. I'm not taking it off, Brian. Is there a difference in no. your rating? <laughs> With makeup, without makeup? No. Also, the counter to that is like, okay, well, let's see what kind of fucking jaw you're working with when we shave off your little beard, okay? Men also have uh, the beard advantage. Let's be real. I like to sometimes, uh, you know, give it a whirl and, and show you guys what I'm working with so that you don't forget that there is a jaw underneath this, uh, you know, in this, in this uh, situation here, okay? But a lot of dudes don't have that. So they just do male contouring in the form of like growing out a beard if they can. Okay. 
<sighs> but having said that, again, it's just it's all about just like being as as mean as possible to the other person. People who think makeup is insidious deception are just admitting that they've never had a girl stay the night or shower with them. Yeah. Or even had like female uh, relatives that they have been around. Like, do you not have a mom? Like, I don't understand. Do you not have a sister? Do you not have like a, like a female cousin? Like what the fuck's going on? You just don't, are you, are you a baby? Do you not have object permanence? How do you not understand this? Like, yeah, it's like no different than wearing fucking clothes. What is this? Is this an argument for 14 year olds? What is happening? Whenever people do like makeup is magic, it's like, dude, you are like, are you, are you saying you're admitting that you're a fool? Like what's happening? What is this? The check if her beauty is natural. Tez live at a wedding done by the groom's family. Thoughts? Now measure his cock in front of the crowd too quickly now. <laughs> it's not a natural beauty test at all. It's a waterproof makeup demo. That's so funny. Brother, you said the check her beauty is natural. Tez live at a uh, wedding done by a family. Have you never seen makeup? You know that shit's hard to take off, right? Just simply dumping your face in in a uh, in a little thing of water is not going to like immediately take off all the makeup, you fucking idiot. That's why you need to have makeup wipes. And also, the video that you're showing, it quite literally the lady still has the makeup on. Men don't know that makeup remover is a special thing. Like, I hate makeup. For me, I'm saying, in person. I, I, I hate putting on makeup. I don't like it. You got to do it at photo shoots. You got to do it when you're on TV. It is what it is. Certain shoots require it, demand it, uh, especially when the, the type of lighting that they're using, you have to have it, right? I think it's, it's awful. I don't like it. But at least I understand how it works. How have you gone uh, throughout life and not even, like, been a little curious to, to figure out how this shit works at all? No wake makeup wipes. Use an oil cleanser. Okay. Listen, Rosalia, Rosalina's evil stepmother. Let me tell you something. I probably put on makeup on my face a handful of times in my life. Fear not, okay? The eight total times that I've actually had to take makeup off, it's fine. Oftentimes, I just let it ride for the most part anyway, and it just like magically deteriorates through, uh, through sweating throughout the day. Also, the fact that there's such varying degrees of makeup worn, and yet in discussion, men like Fresh and Fit uh, have, they go to women who, still, who have still hot and really well done looking makeup to trash women. What? What is this? Mashallah, brother Jake Ibn Bake reverted to Islam. He found Allah's light. Oh my God. That's awesome. I don't like everyday makeup for cons for costume or special occasion, sure, but it fucks up your skin. Seeing someone in makeup is an immediate turn off. I just, I don't really give a shit about it. One way or the other. I don't. Um, you know, it's up to you. If you feel more confident, then do you. You know what I mean? Who gives a shit? But what do I know? I'm a fucking normal human being. Perhaps that's the reason. You know what I mean? I told you, Brian, it's all about confidence. Why would I do any? Why would I, I don't know what you want me to do. And I'm not using those makeup wipes either. Oh. Get better ones. If you get Missler water or something, maybe. You're so <laughs> above Neutrogena, right? We okay. all are. Yes. Is that what I is... take care of my skin. Oh. I spent... There's something really grating. There's something really grating about, like, two people that are supposed to be, like, uh, communicating with one another in a non-contentious manner, but there's so much passive-aggressive, like, back-and-forth happening where I'm just, like... I don't know. It's like it's like a it's like a weird sound, like tinnitus that you can't unhear. When I look at a, when I look at something like this, there's like a like a subtle nails on a chalkboard effect happening every single time I see one of these fucking clips where I'm just like, why are they doing this? They're just like they're like going back and forth 
and and I don't even think it's sexual tension. It's like weird and awkward and like I I don't know. I don't know why people do it. I like spent so much money at Ulta the other day getting a bunch oh. of skincare products. Wow. Yeah. What's wrong with Neutrogena? Everything. <laughs> so what's wrong with it? It's just like not safe for your skin at all. I don't really. Fuck, I just accidentally clicked on this. Ah. How do you unfollow someone on mobile? I don't know, brother. This is this is what it did for you. This is you're like this is the moment. Um <laughs> This was my moment. This was my uh moment of truth. This is why I did not want to be a part of uh the broadcast any longer. You shitting on the whatever podcast, my favorite podcast of all time, is what is leading me to leave. These freaks would never converse contentiously with a gym bro on roids. Yeah. Ethan created the sexy food TikTokers. Oh, hell yeah. What the fuck? All right, I'm going to pee while this uh, plays. Can I, can I show you this? dirty bitch. You fucking slut, you. About to roll you ass and cream all over your face, you dirty bitch. Is there TOS in this? Now I'm a little worried. I feel like I was going <laughs> to, I was going to go pee while this runs, you know, because uh, Cherry Axe, obviously, you already know. But now I'm like actually worried. Nah, they showed it live, but yeah, but they sometimes get away with showing other shit on YouTube that they can't, you can't really show. There's no TOS, it's all suggestive. Okay, I'm playing it while I go pee. Go back to the OnlyFans podcast, girl. Uh, I'm sorry. Are you turned down a little too hard? Is that what's going on? Oh! This is so, he's, he, what a, what a G, what a legend. Wow. Everybody talked about, everybody talked about like sexy food guys on TikTok before, but when Ethan is doing the food fucking, all of a sudden everyone's got a problem. That's kind of messed up. I feel like a Lizzo dancer, Lamau. Oh God. Um. You missed all the good parts. Watch it again. No, I don't want to do that to you guys. It's fine. Phantom made it. He started getting the soul to soul videos. Oh, let's go. Listen, when people start, when people start making videos about like, uh, how you're a part of the Illuminati or, or, or like start schizo posting about you, that's when you know you've made it. Okay. 
You haven't made it if people come up to you in public and they're like, yo, can we take a photo or whatever? No, you've officially made it when people start schizo posting about you seriously. Okay. So congratulations to Phantom for officially making it. Uh, you know, it, it kind of goes downhill from here, but I'm just going to let you know, you know, don't take it seriously. Uh, don't get, don't get too invested in this sort of thing. Um, it will consume you. Like, for example, uh, one thing that got me really hyped up was when Brace, um, Brace Belden, friend of the show, uh, of Truanon fame, had serious posts about him that was talking about how he's like CIA. He's absolutely CIA. He's definitely CIA. And that's when you're like, that's when you've truly made it. It's not the amount of money that you're making. It's not uh, how much, it's not like whether or not you can, uh, you know, you can make this your full-time job or anything like that. It's when you officially have like the crazies come after you and say you are, uh, you know, you're, you're a PSYOP or uh, start making conspiracies up about you. Right. We all know Phantom is a fat ass and he has his current weight in all of his... <laughs> six six phantom is showing y'all the number of the beast in front of you in his streams to thousands of people and nobody bats an eye to that i guarantee no one's seen that they just thought he's just a fat ass nigga trying to lose weight that is there <laughs> not this nigga, on my this nigga not built like umaga for no reason yo not that shit, oh, that's shit. Gluttony in front of our eyes that's a humiliation ritual we laugh like this nigga is fat as fuck you don't need to be eating all this food since they post those clips on tiktok and he gains from it he gains from being a fat ass. Oh my God. AMP is a group. He can't even keep a straight face. Look. He gains look. from being a fat ass. <laughs> he's laughing. This is a meme. There's no way he's being serious. Um, anytime someone's famous and black, it's always they just sold his soul so dumb. I mean, there's like, yeah, the, the socialist version of this is your CIA or you're a champagne socialist. Um, what's the, let's think. I mean, the white, the white version of this is uh, Illuminati. Look up Roger Clayé on TikTok if you want drama. Hassan, he got caught doing predatory stuff, and people are calling him out because he's trying to delete everything. The victim came forward on live last night, and Roger's been trying to harass and silence her, and has been going insane on Instagram. I promise you it's worth looking into this guy. Shouldn't have a platform. I have no idea who that is. I'm probably not going to watch it unless Nick covers it. Yeah, the woman version of this is, of course, yes, you've slept your way to the position that you're in. Black people use Illuminati too, like Jay-Z and Beyonce. That's true. It's wild though because like they hit him, they yeah they did a whole like uh you know Phantom sold the soul to the devil video just to call him a fat ass over and over again which kind of sucks. Um, honestly, uh, I don't know what his diet or what his regimen looks like, but I could I could help Phantom out. We are pretty much the same weight. Obviously, I'm 6'4". I don't know how, how tall he is. I don't remember. He did 25 push-ups on stream. But yeah, you got you to gotta get on a disciplined regimen. Mm. Oh, Phantom, nimble as fuck. Uh, for a while now, the trend has been to imply that you yourself are in the Illuminati. Me? Yeah. I mean, it's true. I've seen, dude, I'm, I'm in a different position because like, um, I have a lot of different vectors of attack because I put my politics out there very aggressively. So there is, there is so much like there's the Illuminati stuff. There's all the slander. There's ridiculous shit. going to be funny when he ends up doing all the insane age reversing stuff only to be outlived by guys like this. <laughs> yeah. That. The funniest part about the I'm 45, a billionaire obsessed with staying young and hard to date is that like he's on, uh, what is it called? Estroid all like he's literally taking, um, feminizing HRT. And also cause estrodi estradiol is estrogen. Estrogen will, uh, estrogen has a lot of, um, Non-feminizing, I think. I mean, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Certain aspects of estrogen production 
will make your skin softer, will make your uh, skin clearer. It will uh, also restore parts of your hairline, I'm pretty sure. So, like, he's also, he's also taking testosterone as well. But the reality is, like, he's still, he's still so... I mean, he's doing all the fucking craziest shit that uh, he ultimately looks significantly worse... Then he did when he was like actually a couple years younger before he started doing all this shit. As I meditate, I do some light therapy and then I finish with HRV training with this polar strap. Like that's crazy to me. What are you doing, my man? This is Brian man? Johnson, the world's most measured human. After selling his company for $800 million in 2013, Brian has been investing millions to slowly reverse his aging, setting a world record by reducing his epigenetic age by 5.1 years in seven months. This year, he's turning 46, but thanks to a $2 million per year regimen, that will only be true on the calendar as his body approaches 18 instead. Today, I'll be seeing how to keep my body forever young. It is 5 a.m. This is when Brian and other... It's the same as saying a guy taking finasteride is on MTF HRT. It's not feminizing. The annoying clouded girlies on Twitter will full, willfully misinterpreted his regimen. The annoying clouded girlies. I mean, I'm on, I say that all the time. I take finasteride. Finasteride is a DHT blocker. It is a, uh, it's a prostate drug to avoid prostate cancer. However, you could say that it is also absolutely HRT. It is. It's hormone replacement therapy. That is what it is. And also, estra, estradiol is a, a little bit further than that. Like, it is a little bit further than just, like, simply taking a DHT blocker. Uh, you know, it's just estrogen. You're taking estrogen. You might be taking small versions of it, like smaller doses of it, but you're still taking estrogen. Estradiol, estradiol. I've seen a new profile on this guy every weekend for two months. I'm sick of seeing this guy. His skin just looks so bad, too. It's just kind of odd. Like, he just doesn't look healthy at all. He looks like a husk. Normal creatures naturally rise to start the day. I don't think I've ever shown up for a collab this early in the morning. Hello? And yeah, he does buy this stuff. Hey, Ryan. hey, What's good up, morning. Man? I hope I didn't make you get up too early. I mean, I'm a, you guys kind of early. <laughs> my morning routine consists of like, just like throwing water in my face. So you have, you have quite the extensive routine. Yeah, today's gonna be a little different. We're gonna start you with red light therapy for hair growth. For hair growth. So okay. that's 312 diodes, mm -hmm. sending red light into your scalp. In this morning routine, we'll need to accomplish maybe 150 different things. That's crazy. <laughs> now we're going to do HRV therapy. Your nervous system has okay. a fight or flight mode where you're just... Uh, I think you're... I'm permanently on that. Okay, yeah. Because you... I drink so much coffee. Okay, yeah. so the fight or flight is like high stress. Right. You're running from the lion in the savannah. Mm -hmm. You yeah. want to spend most of your time in a low stress, I'm good environment. It's just going to be electrical stimulation. I feel like the results might scare you. <laughs> a little bit. So there's no results. It's just oh, okay. you can go up in intensity until you feel a light tingling. I'm not feeling it yet. We're reaching 30. Oh, there we go. It's so weird. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's so weird. This is what Twink Death does to a motherfucker. He's trying to twinkify himself. But it's just every part of this sucks. Like, every part of this sucks. This dude's hobby is so weird. Just fucking live your life, man. I don't know. I, I just... Like, my grandfather died at, like, 93, okay? And, and that dude fucking drank, all right? He drank all the goddamn time. I think he also smoked cigs, too. Like, I just don't get it. I, I Like, the human body is so complex. Like, there are certain things that you can avoid, but, like, trying to min-max this is... And, and trying to min-max this and, like, constantly harping on it, I 100% believe, uh, without a shred of doubt, 
constantly trying to harp on this is going to uh, probably not be great for your mental health, which is really important, I think, for your, uh, for your body to regenerate itself. Yeah, this is very overwhelming. <laughs> we know the story of the Fountain of Youth. A group of people in a boat going to a jungle, they go to a temple and they find an elixir and they drink it and it does it. Is the Fountain of Youth here right now? It's just hiding in a whole bunch of scientific publications. That slowed my speed of aging the equivalent of 31 years. So I now accumulate aging damage right. at a speed slower than the average 10 year old. Wow, so could you like essentially be a vampire? I, right. think, I think I may be coming one. Yeah, I think you might be. Yeah. I think I might come back and I'm like, gonna be like on a cane and you're gonna be like, hey, well, like, I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I'm yeah, he's, so I like this guy, Will Tennyson. We've watched some of his stuff before. I think he's very funny. And I also love fitness channels in general. I do consume a lot of this kind of content on my own. But like, he's glazing him up a little bit. <coughs> and part of the reason why he's glazing him here is because, you know, this guy definitely does not like when uh, people tell it straight to his face that like you're insane you're an insane person you're obsessive uh and you know what you're doing is probably not good for you just live your life what the fuck i'm going to take five tablespoons for this but i'm acclimated to it and i'll give you oh I, you don't think I can... i'm betting he 100 percent has a blood boy he does his son he uses his son as a blood boy that is like a, a part of his uh, routine. Handle it. Well, no, so it's, it's not about uh, being able to handle it. You might be spending time in the bathroom. So your call, you know? Yeah. You you're, you're ch choose your own adventure. It looks quite intimidating. <laughs> it does. I'm going to take about 60 pills. And so it's easier for me to swallow pills. 60 pills? Yeah. Actually? Yeah. Oh my. Do you have a name for this drink? <laughs> this is the Green Giant. The Green Giant? Yeah. Okay. It sounds like it's gonna come out as fast as you ingest it. <laughs> do you enjoy this drink? I love it. You love it? I do. Really? Okay. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, mm. What does it smell like? Chocolate and lawnmower clip. Why does he think he looks so much younger than 45? I would have said about mid 40s too. Yeah, he's just an in shape 45 year old who also has like an air about him that is deeply uncomfortable. And I don't just mean like his vibes. There's something physically ill looking about the way he operates. Like when I look at him, like his skin color is like odd. You know what he looks like? He reminds me of like, uh, like an oblivion character where, uh, you, you went on like the skin tone when you were in the character creation scheme, uh, scene and you basically like clicked on like a greenish one, you know what I mean? Like it's not, it's not like the normal skin tones that you would have. You just like clicked on a weird one accidentally, and you just like ran with it. You know, it's odd. There's like a greenish hue to him. I do not know why. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. To a great day. To a great day. To a day of. Slowing our speed of aging. It tastes effective. <laughs> That's a great yeah. statement. I've never heard someone say that. Um, it's like, I, I think the cocoa is like doing God's work right now. It's really, it's really like saving it. But I actually, you know what? Yeah. The more I drink it, like the more it kind of settles in. Like I'm, yeah. I'm actually, it's quite nice. Yeah. So these are all the pills? Yep. So these are morning. These are lunch. So it's 105 pills a day? Mm -hmm. You're finished eating at 11? Mm hmm Really? So like, what's like the, the purpose for the rest of the day? Yeah, fasting. Fasting. To induce autophagy. So okay. your body's trash right. collection processes. Do you ever like, you know, crave a, a donut or like does the thought of an insulin spike like age you or anything or? I can't imagine doing it. So if it's your burger. Bro, I feel like a burger would take out this man. Okay, listen, I got stamina, baby. Okay, let me tell you something. I've been putting this foot, I've been, I've been testing this body, okay, for years and years. Let me tell you something. I can fucking eat all the burgles I want without dying. This guy, this guy's got no, this guy's got no stomach, dude. The smell of pizza would take him out. He walks by a pizza shop. He's done. He's dead. Instantly perishes.
orthorexic speed run. Yeah, I've talked about like extremely healthy eating as an eating disorder and like my issues with that uh, sentiment. This is definitely one of those situations where like this is not healthy. There's no way. Like <coughs> I've said this so many times, like the human body can be just as complex as you want it to be, but as simple as you want it to be as well. There's there's something beautiful about it, okay? Obviously with our multi trillion dollar marketing industry and and all of the other subsidies that the government gets for corn and and how terrible the product that we're consuming is we've kind of like thrown it out of whack but ultimately it's pretty simple you're hungry you eat you know what i mean and if you eat there's like some greens some meat in there you know you got a good you got a good amount of protein in your diet you got a good amount of carbs and you got a decent amount of fats in there like you're gonna be fine okay you can also Enjoy yourself from time to time. It's just like fucking insane. Just have a decent balance. This guy, he's thrown everything off balance. Anne, kaya bi çıkarsana işesin. Soft. You can eat nothing but chicken, broccoli, and rice and achieve the same or better results of this. Yeah, pretty much. Birthday is just same thing. Yeah. Let's imagine we say, what is the future of technology? in 20 years. We're both going to assume it's better. If we say, what is your and my future? Yeah, I get it. His goal is like, this is like a child. This is what I thought about when I was a kid. When I would like uh, think about like uh, life and the meaning of life or whatever, when I had like my moments where I would um, think about what the future would look like. Uh, I, I uh, also thought like, yeah, if I could get to a certain point, I could just live forever without even thinking about uh, whether or not you would want to do that. You know what I mean? Why the fuck would you want to live forever? Anyway, um, it's just odd, especially if your friends and family are no longer there. Like, I'm curious about the future. I would like to see it, but it's kind of sad to just, like, be alive for that long. It's the shortness of the human life and, and the fragility that, that makes it so special in some ways. Um, but also, 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 having said all of that, okay, um, this is not a life that I would want to lead regardless. Now, obviously, he has different motivations, different goals, but, like, it, al it almost feels like he's living for the sake of living. You know what I mean? He's, he's staying alive exclusively for the purpose of continuing to stay alive and that's not living at all some men live entire lifetimes in a fucking matter of weeks in comparison to how long this guy will stay alive by his own metric and not live a single fucking day if you're eating 150 pills a day and you can't enjoy yourself and like have a burger every now and then then what is the purpose Biophysicist here, everyone has the I can last until we live forever has no fucking clue the tremendous gaps in knowledge that exist between now and that point. Yeah. We haven't even like understood consciousness and what that means. You know what I mean? We haven't been able to figure out how our brains operate. Like there's still so many gaps that organized religion uh, take advantage of and, and fill. You know what I mean? Like the soul, consciousness, what happens when you die, afterlife. There are so many gaps still. We don't even know. In 20 years, we have an implicit assumption we're going to age, decay, and decline. We do not assume we're going to get better. Right. What if that changed? What if we could pose a question about our future and we could imagine ourselves saying, like, I don't know what kind of superhero I'm going to be, but I'm going to be a superhero legit. Like, what if we really... Did you just say burgers are the meaning of life? Absolutely. I, be, I believe that 100%. Food and fucking are two main reasons for, I think, uh, continuing on like with life. Yeah. Um, feeling a sense of purpose, a sense of accomplishment. That's also good. Getting some emotional fulfillment from your work. That's good. What about a nice fat shit? That could be great too, you know? I like motivating myself, but, you know, if we're talking about pure hedonistic pleasures, food and fucking, baby, 100%. Really believed it. Mm. You're going to be in the Avengers. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about, I want you to feel great today because we have a lot to get done. Are you nervous? Why? 
Mm -hmm. I mean, that was a that was like a, a big dose. that was a pro move you just did okay. by drinking the whole thing. I feel like I'm experiencing adrenaline right now for like a sudden bathroom visit or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm feeling like tingles a bit. Okay, good. This device here. Yeah, the whole point of having a young man's body is to be able to pound drinks and eat a double big bag at 3 a.m. to be able to go work the next day. Try to. Trying to have a young man's body, but having to maintain it like your bonsai tree is fucking insane. That's eloquent. The way you put that. Absolutely. In many respects, you are as frail as like an 87-year-old man if this is your routine. You know what I mean? You know who, you know who does that? Old people. This is, he's doing like, uh, what is it called? Like gerontocratic care or whatever. I mean, he, yeah, he's he's engaging in geriatric care at the age of 45. Gerontological care. And it's ironic because I think a lot of the benefits are marginal. And he absolutely has this incredibly distorted uh, cost-benefit analysis. He does not realize that he is way past the point of diminishing returns. Because, like... If he cut 98% of his regimen, he would probably still be just as infinitely happier, right? And, and just as healthy, if not healthier, trying to min-max and, and set targets for every single second of your existence has got to weigh on you so much that it's probably aging you in horrifying ways that you cannot comprehend, okay? Okay. Shut up, Hassan. This man is going to be 80 when he's 100. Exactly. That's my point. What, what good is that? Especially if you're like... Especially if you are quite literally 45 years old and a billionaire. Okay? If you're a 45-year-old and a billionaire, you won. You won the game. Like, what are you talking about? Okay? The entire system is designed to, to benefit you, to serve you. Right? Just go... Enjoy a fucking burger. Fly out to a different country on a whim, on your private jet. You know what I mean? Go buy an island and, like, hang out with naked models on it on a fucking jet ski. Obviously age-appropriate, please. Like, what the fuck do you mean? What, what is happening? Meanwhile, this dude is living the absolute most unimaginably awful life he could so he can, like... Exactly. Have the body of an 80-year-old uh, at, the, at the age of 100. The top 1% of 80-year-olds has the, the fitness of a 55-year-old who's never exercised in their life. Yeah, but again, you're talking about the elite of the elite. If, the, if there is an elite 80-year-old person, like an elite athlete 80-year-old who's never stopped working out, they still have the body of a 55-year-old. They don't need to do all this shit. They don't need to do all this constantly monitors indoor and out outdoor air quality. So this is in Venice right now. This is inside the house. So we're perfect air quality inside the house. Wow, I feel like I'm just not doing enough right now. Well, today's, kind of a, sad. today's a start. Yeah, I think I, I, I kind of want one of those now. One day it spiked to red because there was a warehouse fire downtown LA yeah. in a, uh, some industrial area. Do you only go outside when it's good? Yeah, a certain, when, it, when it's bad, I don't go outside. And how often is it bad? Like, have um, you ever spent like a week like in your home? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> if I was a kid going to school, I'd be like, "Mom, I can't go. The air quality. I can't leave the house." <laughs> yeah. I've been working on my lung capacity. <laughs> be nice to the bug. Oh, he's just waking up. Uh, he's groggy, right? Good morning. He needs a green morning. giant. Yeah, he does. When I see a sled, it's very odd because every single thing that he's doing. If for a separate accomplishment for a specific goal would be kind of fine, like working out your lung capacity. But if the final goal is just to keep doing exactly this for as long as you f physically can, then that sucks. <laughs> Trying to live long but touching a fucking bug? Hell no. <laughs> I get a little bit scared. Why is that? Because it's really hard. But you know what? Santa has a sled, <laughs> and he lives forever. So there's definitely a correlation here, I think. Santa's got high BMI. Look at his legs when he's pushing back. It's like separation. You're so ripped, man. <laughs> Do you know your body fat? Measured by MRI, I'm around like 5%. 5%, oh my god. I was
oh my God, he, uh, this is the joke that I always make, which is one fucking skipped meal would kill him. One skipped meal would end him. If he like accidentally, if he accidentally didn't have a meal for one reason or another in a natural disaster uh, scenario, he's dead in like less than 24 hours. 5% body fat is fucking awful, dude. That is not healthy. The fact that he is staying at 5% body fat year, uh, year round is unimaginable. No chance he's 5% he's lying. I believe it. But that's like, guys, for those of you who want to understand, like his body fat percentage is bodybuilding competition body fat percentage, which means like, he has probably trained his body. He's probably trained his body to, to... He's probably punished his body to basically stay at that body fat percentage, uh, which for normal human beings is completely unsustainable. You honestly believe that he's not just pretending to do most of this shit every day for the PR? No, I believe he's doing this shit. I don't think he's like eating a cheeseburger on the side going, look at these fucking idiots. Look at his skin, dog. No, I believe it. I also don't believe he's like actually 5% body fat. I, you're, you guys are right. You're, you're convincing me a little bit because you're saying like he's probably around 8% because I don't think 5% is sustainable. I feel like you're, you would have organ failure. If you were at 5% body fat year round, you would literally have fucking organ failure, okay? There is no shot. Like, the dudes that you see that look burned to a fucking crisp like a rotisserie chicken that's been out too long, those dudes are at 5% body fat for, like, the week, okay? Not even. Like, bodybuilding competition body fat percentage. You can stay there for, like, a day and a half maximum, okay? A couple days max, and then you're dying. You're dead. Organ failure. I don't even... But the human body is also incredibly complex, okay? So I don't know. Maybe. Maybe if you do this, you can stay at 5% body fat year-round, I guess. I don't know. Will is around 8%. Will, this guy? No, he's not. No. He absolutely is not. What are you talking about? He is probably around... 10 to 12% body fat. There is no shot he's at 8% body fat right now. Look at him. What are you talking about? Guys, 8% body fat is like lower body fat percentage than fucking Alex, okay? You guys have seen Alex. You know how wiry he is? Look at his arms. Like, no shot. Dipping below... 10% body fat, unless you are dipping below 10% body fat, unless you're like normally at that level for some weird reason, like Alex is, the 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 Australian, my Australian friend, I did a thing. Um, you're you're not gonna have a good time. Like, if I somehow magically got to 12% body fat, I'd be fucking dying. Okay. Damn, this guy's good.